You know, like, I don't know. I'm terrible at doing story time videos. Oops. Hey guys, what's up? It's CC. As you guys can tell out of the norm, I'm completely glammed up and this is not a makeup tutorial. I decided to film the story time because I had plans to actually go out for one of my friend's birthday, but he canceled the plans after I'd already gotten ready. So I figured instead of letting the beat go the way that I would film something for my channel to my Snapchat, make sure you guys follow me. But I took to my Snapchat and I basically asked um, everybody to vote on a story time. And I gave them three options. Clearly, this is the topic that won. So I had them like basically snap me a number to tell me what they wanted to hear. And this is the story that won. Um, Before I start rambling, let me get to the story. So for those of you guys who do not know, I was working with Fantasia for a little while. Um, the story, I really feel like it was like my Cinderella story. Like, it that's literally what it felt like to me, like my Cinderella story. So as I mentioned before, I was going through a pretty rough time. Um, I was just getting out of a very toxic relationship and... I just, I connect with everything through music. And at that time, I just was not listening to music. I couldn't, I couldn't turn on a radio. I couldn't listen to Pandora. I felt like every song that was coming on was relating back to what I was going through. And I just wanted to just soak in my misery and do it alone without having to hear music reminding me of it. I was on my way to Atlanta with my mom and basically... Free Yourself came on the radio as we were traveling to Atlanta and for whatever reason I mean I had my headphones in because I was watching something on Netflix but when I heard it I'm like oh my god this is my song and I just started singing along with it and I'm like you know what like <sighs> whoo wait Tay I feel you this is exactly what I'm going through right now this is how I feel so I'm just you know singing along with the song I'm like oh my god this is like this is what I needed to hear so literally I felt like this was like this is this sounds like such a movie but literally at that very moment I stopped watching what I was watching on Netflix and I went and I um pulled up Fantasia's album on my phone and I just listened to um that album over and over again if you guys don't have her first album please go get it oh my god it is so good I was listening to that album and literally Free Yourself Ain't Gonna Beg You got me waiting. Those songs are on repeat. Like, I just, I couldn't get enough of it. I just continued to listen to that album throughout the rest of the so week. I was getting back into the swing of things. So I'm, you know, in the bathroom, back and forth between my bathroom and my room, getting dressed, getting glammed up. And while I'm like in my room getting dressed, literally my phone just keeps going off and I'm like who the heck so I'm thinking it's my mom because y'all I'm always late and um. I realized that it was a number that I did not know so I'm like who the heck is this calling me like I'm telling this number has called me it's texted me it's FaceTimed me and I'm like who the heck is this like I don't know this number I don't recognize this area code I read the text message and basically it's stating like oh hey this is Erica, Tasia's friend. Um, I showed her some of your work and she would really, you know, she wants to know if you're available to work a photo shoot, blah, blah, blah. Let me know if you're interested. Like, y'all, I kid you not. Have I not had a full face of makeup done and ready to leave out the door? I probably would have broke down right then and there. Like, I can't even express to y'all how rough these last two almost three years have been on me so to read that like somebody who I love and idolize I mean when American Idol was popular and popping back when like you know the Ruben Stuttered and the Fantasias and the Kelly Clarkson days me and my mom were a we was a Addicted to the show. We were addicted. Like me and my mom literally voted for her every single night. We did not miss a performance. Every CD that she has put out, we own it. You know what I mean? So for me, it's like, dang, this is this is crazy because I literally have not been listening to music. And not even that I haven't been listening to music, but I haven't listened to this album in so long. And for me to hear that song and now all I've been playing is the first Free Yourself album, which is such an empowering album to me. Like, and now 
you told me a couple days after I just started listening to music and she's the only person I'm listening to that she wants to work with me. Like, I was like, am I, am I dreaming? Like, I just immediately started panicking. And then I called Erica and basically Erica confirmed, like, yeah, she saw your work and she really does want to work with you. So I was super, super, super excited and so thankful for that opportunity. Um, Fast forwarding to the actual photo shoot me getting to meet her it was so much fun it was such a good experience for me to have and it was exactly what I needed at that moment because I was still very like down on myself and still going through it with you know I did the photo shoot and everything with her I did uh, her models makeup and then I did her makeup um she was very sweet very personable just very 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 down to earth like when you think of that cousin at the street or that big sister vibe that she gives off like that's literally who she is she is the sweetest person ever like the sweetest person and like I said I just had a really really good time um and then afterwards you know I I definitely put her to the side and I told her I was like you know I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed to even be in this opportunity like you have no idea like what you mean to me my mom and I have supported your career literally since day one and it's just crazy to me because I'm literally in a process of like going through a breakup and getting over a breakup and free yourself literally is all that I've been able to listen to so for me to get that call literally within the same week that I started back listening to that album to know that you want to work with me like I just feel like God set this up like this is this was this happened on purpose and I'm so 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 grateful that you saw my work you appreciated it and you wanted to work with me so you know she's just like oh you know no problem keep pushing I love your work blah 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 and so get back to work I didn't tell anybody at work about it and I get a text um from her hairstylist saying hey you know we need you for CIAA so it was like from that point it kind of just went full speed to me working at Sprint and actually helping out with doing makeup like just the, the pep talks that she's giving me just being like I I cannot express to y'all how much I love that lady like and I always get so emotional when it comes down to like people genuinely supporting me because I'm a very sensitive person when it comes to stuff like that because I feel like I'm that that friend that always is rooting for, you know, everybody in my life. And sometimes I don't know whether or not I'm blocking it, blocking it out or because they're not delivering it the way that I want it to be delivered that I feel like I don't always get that same support for a lot of people who I care about deeply in my life. So just to have somebody who you've watched go through so much in the public eye and she's still such a strong, beautiful black woman. She's an amazing mom. She's an amazing, like, I don't even have to get on her talent. Like, the woman can sing her ass off. Her ass off. Like, just, I just love her so much. And I was so, so grateful for the time period that I did get to work with her. CIAA was really fun. Um, it was just, I felt like a real life celebrity makeup artist. And I mean, I've had other celebrity clientele, but for me, I felt like it was more of a bond instead of just like work. You know what I mean? When it came to her, like she made it more personable so like um, I said I did her makeup looks for CIAA and you guys saw her this year for any of the events I did her makeup for those also her Lane Bryant campaign I did her makeup for that as well I mean, it, it just was such a fun time it didn't feel like work so I I literally can't think of like all the events that I've done and helped her. God is dope okay he is dope because oh don't don't get me preaching please don't get me preaching like i'm just forever thankful tay if you see this video i love you erica i'm so thankful for you girls i miss y'all love y'all like it it was just such a great great experience i got to meet so many like sweet people so many dope people who are gonna be in my life for forever so 
I don't know. I'm just very, very excited to see what my future holds. Yeah, from yeah. working with her, like, that really did pull me out of my funk. I was, like, feeling sorry for myself, not wanting to get out of bed. And with me working a full-time job, like, and traveling back and forth from being here to having to go to, you know, North Carolina and work with her, I didn't have time to sit around in my misery and to feel sorry for myself and to be upset and to cry. Like, it, she literally kept me busy and that was exactly what I needed. So as far as me getting back to my old self and me falling back in love with what I'm doing and throwing myself into work, like I owe so much of that to her for keeping me so occupied that I didn't have time to think about what I was going through. I got um, started. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Um, if you guys want more story times, definitely thumbs up. Follow me on Snapchat. Typically, I'm always ranting and raving and being crazy on there. So if I ever have a, basically, if I basically have to make a decision about what I'm going to talk about on my story time videos, I'll usually probably say something about it on Snapchat. That was the highlight of my 2015, like, I'm forever thankful. I thank you, God, for blessing me with this talent. And I promise to always use it to get myself to the next level, to make the next woman or men feel beautiful about themselves. That's literally why I'm in it. I'm not in it to be a celebrity makeup artist. I'm in it to work with people who genuinely support what it is that I do because... It's very seldom that you find people who appreciate and support your art. So, yeah. Follow your dreams, people. You never know where it might lead you, who you may end up working with, or the people that may come across your path that are going to end up in your life forever. So, if that's it, I think I'm out.